Denagas suspends production at its Kurdistan facility after a drone attack. And Bernard Arnault gains $19.9 billion today. You're watching The Daily Brief with Forbes. I'm Ramia Faraj. UAE-based energy firm Denagas says its liquid storage tank at its facility in the Kurdistan region of Iraq was struck by a suspected drone. There were no injuries to personnel, but production was suspended temporarily to put out the fire. Missile attacks targeted its facilities multiple times last year. Oil traded near its 2024 high today and is heading for its second weekly gain. Positive U.S. economic growth and signs of Chinese stimulus are boosting demand sentiment, while Middle East supply concerns add further support. Brent crude futures are just shy of $82 and West Texas is at $76. Qatar International Islamic Bank has issued $500 million of sustainable certificates due in 2029 with Dentons as the advisor. The issuance was listed on the LSE's sustainable bond market. Dentons also advised on the January 11th update of QIIB's $2 billion trust certificate issuance program. Saudi Entertainment Ventures, or Seven, has signed a license agreement to build Formula E branded indoor karting attractions across multiple venues. The karting attractions will be located in Riyadh, Jeddah, Dammam and Abha. Seven is investing more than $13.3 billion to build 21 entertainment destinations in Saudi. Eurozone inflation could fall faster than expected this year, according to a key European Central Bank survey that now sees inflation at 2.4% in 2023, down from 2.7% seen three months ago. It's boosting expectations for an early start to ECB interest rate cuts, although the ECB says it's premature to discuss. Europe's stock market surged today as traders bet interest rates in major economies will soon be heading down. Upbeat earnings from LVMH drove the pan-European stock 600X to a weekly gain of around 2.5%. LVMH posted a 10% rise in Q4 sales to $26 billion. And that's evident from today's Forbes Real-Time Billionaires ranking where Bernard Arnault is our biggest winner by far today, up $19.9 billion now with net wealth of $204.8 billion. Our second biggest winner today is Larry Page, up $2.5 billion with net wealth of $126.9. And our third place winner is Francois betancourt Meyer. She's up $2.6 billion with net wealth of $97.5 billion. Intel posted a 36% year-on-year fall in its adjusted net profit to $4.4 billion for 2023. Revenue dropped 14% to $54.2 billion. It's also forecasting Q1 revenue below analyst expectations amid ongoing uncertainty surrounding the demand for chips used in traditional server and PC markets. I'm Ramia Faraj. This is The Daily Brief. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend.